Welcome to Tech Cave. My name is RJ, and today HTC Vive. Um, this is a video, um, helpful tips on customization. Um, looking on the internet, I noticed that one or two of you um, have got funky shaped controllers. And for any of you like myself that likes just to customize and change things, I um, delved in to find out how to do this because I didn't know it was possible. Um, open up your Steam software and if you go to the library uh, where you normally have all your games and things, the tools where uh, it says Steam VR, um, without your Steam VR running, um, it's best if it's not running at the time, right click on that and instead of pressing play to start your um, VR, go down to the properties, uh, head on over to betas and by default you're on none go and click on beta you don't need to put in a code here I'm not sure what that's for maybe that's um, close that and you'll notice that it's downloading the beta um, I don't know what that codes for maybe it's so uh, it can allow uh, developers to develop their own betas I don't know so that is now in beta mode so if I fire this up click play game and just take a few moments for my display to load up and I'm going to put the mirror screen so you can see what I'm doing yeah I might as well make that sort of size okay so head on over to my head mount apologies if the sound changes slightly as I move around but I'll just put this on and we can see we've got default area Turn on my controller. There it is. It's a bit juddery because I'm only tracking off one lighthouse at the moment because I'm kind of sat in my computer area, not in the main um, VR area that I've set up over there. So if you press the, the menu button and go down to settings. Now, VR settings. This is the standard settings. So we're not in beta mode, or are we? No, yes we are, customize. Ah, yes we are in beta mode. So usually on the standard settings you would have uh, background and environment. So only two things change. Now that we're in beta mode, you've got uh, play area, base station, and controller. And when you click on these, let's go to controller, because this is the first thing that I spotted that I wanted to change. Um, you can click on this. These are ones that are pre-downloaded, but you can down here on the right you can select, select find more skins and when you select that it will take you to the main area where you can search for skins that have been pre-uploaded by um, helpful people that have decided to take their time and effort to put these up and you can also change the base stations as well from the standard base stations um, there's a, a, a HAL 9000 there very nice he is um, as a base station so I found it easier to do it on, uh, on the desktop than, than uh, in this area, but uh, you can find your way into the workshop and type in um, controllers and search through to find the various different ones. So just selecting on a different one and then all of a sudden, there we go, you can see my controller has changed completely and it is now day glow orange. Fantastic. And there's me. Hello. Right, oh, a nice RAM style controller. And as I said, I've already downloaded the base station and you can see the two base stations up here. I'm gonna change those to little red eye howls. Eerily watching you whilst you're in your VR world. Um, a nice little update that Steam have done as well, which I didn't see this was on the standard, maybe it's only just in beta at the moment, is you can change the environment and now you can put a modeling into your background so this is a, a 3d model that is on the background so if we select a standardized background you'll be familiarized with this i think this is the standard one that we that we had if i um change the environment back to default so this is i think this is the default if i remember rightly when i first switched on the htc vive um, and now you can add on a 3d um, environment so that 
and I'm sure there are going to be lots of weird and wonderful, funky that you can actually walk around in a 3D environment in your um, in your little construct area. So um, I hope that's been helpful to you. Um, if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, um, please give me a like. And I hope to put some more um, tips and, and things that I find as I go along um, researching the uh, the options of HTC Vive and VR. Um, so if you want to see any of those other videos that I'm going to put up in the future, hit the subscribe button. Right, so my name's RJ and I'm in my tech cave. Um, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.